Hello everyone, Rich here, back for another Minecraft ship tutorial video thing, and today is part one of my MV Bloemfontein Castle tutorial. Now the Bloemfontein Castle is a Union Castle liner built, I think, in 1950. Um, I think it was scrapped around 1989, 1990, something like that. But uh, this is what we're going to be building today, and for part one we're going to be focusing on the red section at the bottom of the ship, and then for part two we'll focus on the grey hull of the ship, so... It's not a tremendously big ship. I mean, the full length of this thing is 309 blocks, so it's not a huge ship. Sort of along the mid-range, if you know what I mean. And the width is 39, so it's about... Uh, so, width is 300. No, width, uh, width is 39, length is 300. So it's about 10, sort of a 10% uh, difference from width to height, width to length, rather. And... Uh, all those statistics aside, this is what we're going to be coming up with. So it's not a, a tremendously big ship. It's not a tr tremendously uh, uh, complicated ship either, because I mean it's uh, a few decks, no real, uh, not a huge amount of detail to it. But uh, there we go. So that's the uh, Bloemfontein Castle, and I do apologise for the name pronunciation if I do get that wrong, but that's what I uh, come up with anyway. And a lot of these ships of the Union Castle line are named after castles obvious reasons I suppose because I've already done the uh, the Arundel Castle which is the sister ship to the Windsor Castle and I believe there's another one called the Winchester Castle and there's plenty of other ships called Castle in the range as well so uh, there we go so anyway that's Bloemfontein Castle there so we're going to focus on that build today and what I've already done I've already laid the keel of the ship so the keel is the center line and the backbone of the ship and if you're going to be building this on water then you're going to build the keel on the 13th block below the surface so that is what you want to come up with so the keel itself is 261 blocks long that's 261 blocks long and uh, that's that so like I say it's the center line and backbone of the ship now if, as you if you're familiar with my builds in the past then you know what I'm going to be doing I'm going to focus on the left hand side of the build and then copy it to the right hand side later on um, to get things out of the way so I am using world edit but I will explain everything what I'm, what I'm doing before I use it you know just so I'm just using World Edit for quickness rather than uh, to cheat. So, well, it's cheating still, but uh, I do. I'm not doing it to, to confuse people. Anyway, so there's the kill, and like I say, it's 261 blocks long, 261 blocks long, and we're going to start with the bottom base uh, base plate of the ship, and we're going to start on the seventh block back from the from the tip of the bow. So, from the front, count to the seventh block back. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to add a row of five. One, two, three, four, five. And then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then two, uh, three rows of seven, sorry. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then uh, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, and then six again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, and then ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, like that. And then for the outside edge, we want one block, and we want a line of 56. So that's the first block there of what will be 56. So I shall build it freehand and measure as I go along. So we want a line of 56. Hopefully I get this right. So how far down that is? 51. 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, there we go. And it says the end of that pink sentence there, 56. So at the end of the 56, we're going to curve back inwards towards the keel again. Now for that we want 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then four rows of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 And then four rows of five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. And then 
uh, three rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then three. One, two, three. And it should have uh, well, one block of the keel sticking out the back, but I believe I have one block <laughs> more than that. Um, okay, jump cut there. Uh, I just double checked, and that is correct. There is two blocks of the keel sticking out the back. So that is how it should be. You should have two blocks of the grey keel sticking out the back. That's fine. So uh, apologies there. What's that block doing there? I'll get rid of that. All right, so yeah, that is fine. So uh, two blocks of the keel sticking out the back like so, and that is one side of the hull almost complete. So we're going to go down to the back end now of the 56. So the line of 56 on the outside edge is what we want to go to now. and we'll Go to the back end of that. And we want to build uh, out two. So on the end here, at the back end, we want to build out two like that. And then forward six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And at the end of that six, you want to build up two. One, two. And one out, like so. And there you go. That just makes the ship slightly wider. And we do the same uh, at the front end again. So at the front end of the 56 here on the outside edge. And once again, we build out two. One, two. And we build back six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then up two. One, two, and one. There, like so. And once again, that just makes the ship slightly wider. And then from this outside edge, so from this block here on the outside edge, you're going to build back and connect to the block that sticks out on the side there on the other end. So just build back from that one block to connect to the other one block on the back, like so. And then underneath that, the two high section there, like so, you just connect that from front to back as well. So just creating an extra panel underneath. Like so, and I just do it freehand. Like so. Oop, missed it. And there we go, that is that section done there. So that's that panel done, and that's one side done. So um, that's how that should look. And if you do the same on the other side, it will look fine as well. And you should have the full width of the hull done there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I do the other side and then uh, we can move on to the next part. So um, back in a moment. Okay back again. So there's both sides done now. So we've got the left side which I built originally and the other side over there. So we should have two sides that look exactly the same and there's the base plate of your ship done or our ship done whichever way. So uh, that's that bit done. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add signs to each section of the ship. Now if you're familiar with my builds as per usual then we, you know how this is going. So uh, at the front of the keel, we're going to add a sign of zero. So that that's the marks the centre line, and zero is the centre line. And then out to the side from there, in each section, you want to add one, and then one the other side, and then two, and then two the other side. And you sort of get an idea where this is going, labelling each section up. And you want to go down all the way down the side to get to the very end of the outside, and that would be section 19. So I just go up to the very outside. So up here, on this single block up here, this will be section 19, okay? And the forward of that, down one, will be section 18, down there. And then down below that is section 17. So you just want to carry on from zero all the way to section 19. Okay. So when we come to build the hull upwards, uh, we're just doing it section by section. So it makes life a lot easier. So you do the same on, the, on both sides. And then you do the same at the back end as well. So start at the center on the back end and work your way up to section 19 with those signs. So I can say the signs are optional but uh, I'd say they're probably better for uh, better if you add them so uh, if you ever need to go back to each section then you just go to the numbered section so um, yeah so what I'm going to do I'm going to do another jump cut while I get all those signs in place and then we can start building the hull upwards so uh, back in a moment okay back again so there's all the signs in place and it should look something like that so that's 0 to 19 on all corners so this is the back end and what I'm going to do now is fly to the front end and we're going to start building the hull upwards. So we're going, to, we're going to do this section by section, number by number. And if you're building this on console or uh, doing this without mods, say like the handheld game or like I say on PS3, PS4, Xbox or whatever, it's best to do each section at a time, you know, on both sides. So do section zero as per usual. And then go to section one and do section one and section one. And then section two, section two, section three, section three, like that. But as I'm doing this with World Edit and on PC, I'm going to do one side just to get it out of the way, and then I'll do a jump cut and do the other side. So uh, just to speed things up a little bit. So like I say, do each section at a time, and you'll be fine. So we'll start at the front end, and we'll start at zero. And for zero, we're going to build forward three. So one, two, three, and then two, one, two, and then up two, one, two, and then up five, one, two, three. 
three, four, five, five again, one, two, three, four, five, and then two, one, two, like that. So that's the section zero done there. And with the keel down at the bottom there, this whole height should be 14 in height. So I just double check that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So there we go. That's the full height of our hull on the draft basically. So that's section zero does. So now we move on to section one. And like I say, do both section ones at, at uh, the same time and it should be okay. So for section one, we want forward four, one, two, three, four. And then three rows are two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then up two, one, two. And then up four, one, two, three, four. Four again, one, two, three, four. And then two, one, two, like that. And they're the same height, that's fine. Now move on to section two. And for section two, we want forward two rows of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And then two rows of two, one, two, one, two. And then up two, one, two. Um, and then up two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then four, one, two, three, four. And then one forward, like that. There we go. That's section two. And then we move on to number three. Section three. And I just adjust my notes, bear with me. So for section three, we want forward five, one, two, three, four, five, and then three, one, two, three, and then uh, two rows of two, one, two, one, two, and then up two, one, two, and then up three rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, one, two, like that. There we go. So that was section three. Now we move on to section four, and I wish I had a P before I started this. Uh, for section four. We want forward five, one, two, three, four, five. And then, so that's forward five, and then we want uh, forward three, one, two, three. And then three rows are two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, and then up two, one, two. And then up three rows are three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then forward one, like that. There we go, so that was section four. Um, now we move on to section five. I'm just double checking as I go along. Uh, for section five, we want uh, forward seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then uh, three, one, two, three. And then four rows of two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then up two, one, two. And then up three, one, two, three. Three again, one, two, three. And then two, one, two, like that. So that was section five. And now we're on to section six. And just my notes again. So section six, we want forward six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then two rows of three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then we want uh, five rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then up two, one, two. And then up three, one, two, three. And then up two, one, two, like that. That's the same height as the rest. And now we're on to number seven. If it's number seven, we want forward seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then three. One, two, three. Three again. One, two, three. And then eight rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then up two, one, two. And forward one, like that. And there we go. That's section seven. And now we're on to section eight. I don't just my notes. So for section eight, we want forward seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then forward four rows of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then forward five rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then up two, one, two, and up two again. One, two. Like that. So that's fine. Now we're on to uh, number nine. So we're getting near halfway. So for section nine, we want forward seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then four. One, two, three, four. And then forward three rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then five rows of two. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. And then up two. One, two. And up two again. One, two, like that. So there we are. That's section nine. And now we're on to number 10. For section 10, we want forward six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then two rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
and then two rows of three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then we want six rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and up two, one, two, and forward one, like that. So make sure they're all the same height, that's fine. And now we're on to number uh, 11. So adjust my notes again. So for section 11, we want forward eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then two rows of four, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, and two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then seven rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. I just double check that, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's fine, seven rows of two, and then one up on the end like that, there we go. So that was section 11, now we move on to number 12. So for section 12 we want forward six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then three rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then three rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then four rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then up two, one, two, and forward one, like that. There we go, so that was section 12. And now we're on to number 13. And for number 13, we want forward seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then three rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then three rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then five rows of two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then up one, like that. There we go. It's the same height again, that's fine. And now we move on to number 14. Which we're getting near the end here. So for number 14, we want forward 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 3 rows of 3. 1, one 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And then 6 rows of 2. One two, one two, one two, one two, one two, one two, and there we go. That's that uh, section fourteen done. Now we want section fifteen. So bear with me on this one. Just sort the notes out. So for section fifteen, we want forward nine. One two three four five six seven eight nine, and then five. One two three four five, and then three rows of four. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. That was three rows of four, no, yep. And then we want uh, four rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then four rows of two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. There we go. That was section 15. Now for number 16, I'm just going to adjust my notes. Bear with me a second. I need paper clips going all over the place. Yeah. Right, so for number 16, we want forward 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then three rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then four. One, two, three, four. And then we want five rows of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then three rows of two. One, two, one, two, one, two. And there we are, that's section sixteen done. And now we're on to number 17, all the way back here. And for number 17, we want to remove this block here. And then we replace that with 25. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. There we go. So at the end of the 25, we want uh, two rows of five. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we want five rows of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then three rows of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then two rows of two. One, two, one, two. And there we are, that's the same height as the rest, that's fine. And now we're on to number uh, 18, which is this one here. So we're up one block. Because it's uh, one block higher. So 17 was down there, 18 is up here. 
So for section 18, we want forward 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 2 rows of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 4 rows of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, and then three rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that's the same height as the rest. That's fine. And then finally, on to number 19, which is all the way back here. And for number 19, we want forward seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then two rows of five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Three rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And there we go. That is all the sections of the front end done, at least on one side. So if you're doing both the same, both sides at the same time, you should be okay. So it should look like this on both sides in theory. So. Uh, that's that section done there. So what we want to do now is go on the inside um, You can either do both sides at the same time or do this uh, after you've done uh, Whichever you want. So that's one side done like I say, but uh, both sides should be done So once you go on the inside now, we're just filling the gaps. So Starting at the front end just go and fill in uh, fill in all the gaps from the inside and uh, <coughs> Everything should be okay. So That's the first section. I'll do the first few sections and then I'll do a jump cut Um to focus on the next part so everything should all line up okay so there we have that section one done and then we move on to the next one and then I'll do one more There we go, there's the first few done. And as you can see, once you fill in all the gaps, you should have a sort of, uh, well, that basically. Uh, and it should look something like that on the prototype once you fill all the sections in. And uh, it don't look too bad. So if you look at it front on as well, you do have a sort of uh, curvy hull shape going on there. So that is how that should look. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a jump cut while I fill in the rest. And I'll also do the other side as well. So, um, yeah, it should be okay. So I shall return in just a moment. Okay, back again. So there's all the sections of the front end done, and it should look something like that, in theory. And I've also done the other side as well. So once you've done both sides, you should have that, basically. So that's the front end all done. And then from the inside, it should all look something like that. All marvellous and neat and all that crap. So there we go. That's the front end done. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go to the back end and start at zero there and uh, do the same sort of process again. Now, the stern shape is completely different. At least the beginning is. If you look on the stern on the prototype, you can see from the keel, which is down where the crosshairs is, the, the stern actually curves up and then curves down again and then goes up again and then sort of curves up that way again. So it's a little bit different, to say the least. And then, uh, yeah, we'll start with that one. So as before, I'm going to start on zero again and work my way out to the left. But like I was saying, do both sides at the same time, you should be fine. Um, so what I'm going to do, we'll start at zero and we're going to build forward. Well, whenever I say forward, I actually mean back, okay? Because we're at the back end, we're at the wrong way around. And I'll say forward to make it easier for me. So from the back end on zero, we want forward three rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, like that. And then we want four, one, two, three, four. And then five, one, two, three, four, five. And then ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So like that. And then at the end of the ten, you want to curve downwards. So we want three, one, two, three. And then three rows of two. One, two, one, two, one, two, like that. And then one at the bottom, like that. So there we are. And then on the top of the two, or well, on top of the one, so you've got the one there, and then the two above it. So on the block above that, you want to build up seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you have that sort of shape. And then you want to build back, or forward rather, uh, three, one, two, three. And then four, one, two, three, four. <laughs> and then three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, damn it, one, two like that, and then two again, one, two. There we go. So that's the shape we're after. And uh, yeah, it should be fine. So I'm just going to make sure that's 14 high in total again. So one, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 down there. So there we are. So that's 14 in height, like the front end. So that's fine. So that's section 0. All right. So now, in theory, section 1 should follow along from that. So uh, let me just adjust my notes. So for section 1, we want to go forward 3, 1, 2, 3. And then 3 rows are 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. And then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then underneath that we want 3, 1, 2, 3. And then 2, 1, 2, 2 again, 1, 2. And then down 1, like that. And then up from there, up again from that 1 above that. We want to go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we want 3 forward, so 1, 2, 3. 3 again, 1, 2, 3. 3 again, 1, 2, 3. And then two, one, two, like that. Is it right? Three. Oh no, three again. So it's at three, and then two, one, two, like that. So apologies there. So it's four rows of three. So you want the five. Uh, so it's up five, and then three, 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 and then two. There we are. So apologies there. So that was uh, section one. So you do the same again for section one on the other side, and then move on to section two, which is down here. So for section two, we want forward three, one, two, three, and then three rows of two. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, is that right, so it's 3, 2, 2, 2, and then 4, and then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, and then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 again, 1, 2, 3, Three again, one, two, three, and there we go. That's that section does. So that was section two, and that was completely different to the previous two, but we got there in the end. And now we're on to number three. So for section three, we want forward four, one, two, three, four, and then three rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then three, one, two, three, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then seven, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then four, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, and three again, one, two, three. And there we go. That's that section done there. Marvelous. It looks confusing as hell, but I assure you, when it's done, it will look fine. Um, anyway, that was section three. Now we're on to number four. And for number four, we want forward four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, and then three rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then two rows of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then three rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three. There we go, that's another odd shape there. Right, now we've had to number five. I've got a feeling I'm screwing this up somewhere, but I'm not going to uh, complain about it just yet. I'm going to carry on as we are. So for section, f <laughs> section five, we want forward four, one, two, three, four, and then two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then two rows of two, one, two, one, two, Four, three, three, two, two, and then we want three again. One, two, three, and then three rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then five. One, two, three, four, five, and then three rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. So that was that one. And like I say, I've got a feeling there's some bits which are not lining up, but. I don't know, I'm not going to complain just yet. Anyway, now we're on to number uh, number six. And for section six, we want forward five. One, two, three, four, five. And then three rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then two rows of two. One, two, one, two. Like that. And then four. One, two, three, four. And then three rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then four, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four. 
there we go that was section six so now we're on to number seven and I've got a feeling things are straightening up now so that's fine so now we move on to number seven let me just adjust my notes so for number seven we want forward five one two three four five and then four one two three four and then two rows of three one two three one two three two rows of two one two one two and then three one two three and then five one two three four five and then three rows of six one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six and then five one two three four five and four one two three four there we go so that's that one and now we're on to number eight now for section eight we want forward five one two three four five and then two rows of four one two three four one two three four and then three one two three and then two rows of two one two one two and then three one two three and then four one two three four and then five one two three four five and then three rows of six one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six and then five one two three four five there we go so that was number eight done now we're on to number nine and for number nine we want forward five one two three four five and then uh, four one one two three four four again one two three four so it's five four four sorry and then we want three one two three and two one two and then three rows of three one two three one two three one two three and then four one two three four and then four rows of six so one two three four five six 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 and there we go so that was number nine done and now we're on to number ten and for number ten we want forward six one two three four five six and then f two rows of four one two three four one two three four and then two rows of three one two three one two three and then two one two three again one two three and then three rows of four one two three four one two three four one two three four and then three rows of six one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six there we go so that was number 10 now we're on to number 11 and for number 11 we want forward six one two three four five six and then two rows of four one two three four one two three four and then five rows of three so one two three 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 and then two rows of four one two three four one two three four and then three rows of six one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six there we go that was number 11 done and things are coming along nicely in theory um, and now we're on to number 12 and for number 12 we want forward six one two three four five six and then two rows of four one two three four one two three four five rows of three one two 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 three and then four one two three four and then two rows of five one two three four five one two three four five and then two rows of six one two three four five six one two three four five six there we go so that was number 12 now we're on to number 13 and uh, for number 13 let me just adjust my notes bear with me so for number 13 we want forward six one two three four five six and then two rows of four one two three four one two three four and then four rows of three one two three one two three one one two three one two three and then two rows of four one two three four one two three four uh, two three rows of five one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five and then six one two three four five six there we go so they're all the same height that's fine and now we're on to number uh, 14 so bear with me while I adjust my notes right so for number 14 we want forward seven so one two three four five six seven and then four one two three four and then four rows of three one two three one two damn it one two three one 
two, three, one, two, three. Let me just double check that. One, two, three, four. Four rows of three, that's fine. And then two rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then five rows of five. So one, two, three, four, five. 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 There we go. So that was number 14 done. Now we're on to number 16. No, 15, sorry. So for number 15, we want forward 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 4 rows of 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And then 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we want 6 rows of 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Marvellous. So that was section 15. Now we're on to number 16. Which is down here. Now for number 16 we want forward 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 2 rows of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 2 rows of 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And then 3 rows of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then five rows of five. So one, two, three, four, five. 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 There we go. So that was uh, sixteen done. Now we're on to number seventeen. And for number seventeen, we want to remove this block here and replace that with thirteen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then nine rows of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Uh one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So that's nine rows of four. And then we want two rows of five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then a row of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Marvellous. Now we're on to number 18, and we're getting near the end of this one. Um, for number 18, we want forward 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 8 rows of 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, damn it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'll just double check that so that make sure that is 8 rows of 4. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's fine. So there's eight rows of four. And then we want two rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. Now we're on to uh, number 19 and the final row. And we want forward six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then five. One, two, three, four, five. And then four rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. And then we want uh, a row of five. One, two, three, four, five. And then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then five. One, two, three, four, five. And then three. One, two, three. Like that. And there we go. That's all sections of the stern done, the back end of the ship. And in theory, it should look something like that. So just go to the back end and look at it from there. We've got a bit of a weird curve going on there, but that's how it should look. And when you get both sides in place, it will look even better. And uh, there we go. So like before, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on the inside and fill in all the gaps. And what I'll also do in a minute, actually, I'll do, I'll do the first few sections. Leave me an idea on what I'm doing. So I'll just go on the inside here and start filling in the gaps. Like So there are not many gaps on the stern here because of the way it's shaped, but... There are a few here and there, so let's get the first few filled in. Now do one more row, why not? Like so, so there's the first few filled in, you can't really tell, but uh, they're filled in nonetheless. So what I'll do, I'm going to do a jump cut while I fill in the rest, and also I'll fill in the side panel as well, which are basically between section 19 at the front and section 19 at the back. We'll have a big red wall between both sections. Basically, it's it's that panel there where the crosshairs is. It's basically that. It's basically a big red wall. So 
I shall fill that in while I do the jump cut as well and then uh, I'll think of something else to do so um, back in a moment okay back again so there's the stern back end of the ship all filled in and it should look something like that and also the side panel as well that's uh, all filled in and so that is pretty much the hull or the draft of the ship done um, but I haven't done the other side yet I forgot to do that so um, so yeah, that's one side done. So I'm just going to quickly copy the other side as well. So um, apologies for that one. So I'm going to use Word for this one. So copy to there. So we do uh, copy, flip to the right, and then we paste. And there we go. That's both sides done. So it should, in theory, look something like that. And from the back end, it will have an odd shape like that. But uh, overall, the draft of the ship is pretty much done. So there we go. Um, and for the floor of the ship, the inside, we go on the inside here, you can see inside here we've got uh, the floor of the ship is not filled in yet, There's basically this is all red, so just basically fill all that in with red, but you don't have to do this now because it's not an important job, it's really only just to keep the water out if you want, um, so you can leave this for now or you can do it now if you want to, depending on what time you got, so um, yeah, if you want to fill this all in with red then that's fine, but I'll do that anyway because I can use the uh, weld edit, so I usually use fill. Uh, 251 by 14 by 400 and that will fill in one side and then the other side as well and there we go so that's both sides filled in but like I say you don't have to do that now because it's not an important job right now so there we go that is the draft pretty much all done and what we're going to do what we're going to do now is move on to the ship's rudder and propellers we're going to get those things done today so he's pissing about at a later date so for the rudder we're going to add four hinges first and for the hinges I normally use a uh, cobblestone wall so we're going to get those and we're going to go from the back end you've got this vertical step here on the uh, back end of the rudder or back end of the ship and we're going to go right to the bottom block down here and we're going to add four hinges so there's the first hinge there and then a block gap and another block gap another and a block gap another so there's four hinges like that like so and it should look something like that and then from the top hinge we're going to build a line of red uh, going straight down uh, should be about eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, and eight, like that, down to the bottom, like that. So it's eight blocks down, like that. And then for the bottom of the rudder, we want uh, seven. So back seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. And then up nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then forward one, like that. And then underneath that one, we want to build forward four. One, two, three, four. And underneath that we want three. One, two, three. And there we go. There's our rudder shape like that. And then in this space here, we just fill it all in with red blocks. Like so. And there we go. That's that uh, rudder filled in like that. Marvellous. Now for the propellers, there are going to be two of these. So there's one either side, but I'll probably only do one. Um, we're going to go back to that sticky down block down here. So you've got the vertical point there, plus this block down here. So we're going to count this block as number one, and we're going to bit count for, count up from there. So we're going to go up uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's up seven. And then we're going to count back ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's ten forward actually. I apologise for that one. So it's ten forward. And then we're in with white blocks, we want to count, uh, build out seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then on the in red, we want to build the eighth block. So eight like that. So it's out seven, and then the eighth block is red. So I recap again, back to that sticky down block. We want to go up seven, and then forward ten, and then with white out seven, and then the red block is number eight. So there we go. So you can remove the white blocks now. And we just have this single red block like that and then for the propeller itself I normally use uh, sandstone blocks and sandstone stairs so these are the materials I use so for the propeller you want to build back one block in sandstone like that and then you want to build up two one two and then two to the side one two like that so it's like that so it's up two up two like that then the same out to the side out one two and out one two uh, one two like that so it looks like that and the same down below one two one two like that and then the same the other side out two out two like that so you got a shape that's sort of a 
spaced out swastika if you know what I mean and then for the blades we want to add a couple uh, sandstone stairs on the ends like so, so you want sort of four sandstone blocks or sandstone stairs rather to create the shape of the propeller blade like that so we want sandstone block there on the corner on the corner there and then there and then one down there so it's one two three four like that so do the same with the next blades again like that and it should all be fine in theory when it's all done so just get all these uh, stairs out of the way there we go there's our propeller uh, four blades done and then for the center of the propeller just add one block of sandstone like that and there you go there's your propeller looking like that marvelous and then in front of the pro or behind the propeller going towards the front of the ship uh, with this red line here or this red block you just want to build a line of blocks all the way forward until it blends in with the rest of the hull so build that all the way forward like so oh, like so and there you go and then go back to the propeller again and behind it uh, a one block gap you want to build up two two and then inwards two like that so it should look something like that and then for these rows you want to build them all the way forward again until they blend in with the rest of the hull like so and then do the next row as well and there we go that's that propeller done there and in theory it should look something like that marvellous so you do the same on the other side so like I say um, I'm only going to do the one and then copy it across so I'm going to quickly do that so I shall copy from down here and then I shall copy flip and paste it to the other side because I can't be bothered to do the other one so I shall copy to that point there so I shall do uh, copy flip paste and there we go there's our propellers on both sides and that is the draft of the ship are pretty much done there's no more detail really to go on the draft um, so that is basically that so the rest of the uh, videos will be for the main structure of the ship so that's the draft all done so that's part part one over and done with and uh, this is what we come up with so like I say it's not a big big ship it's sort of a mid-range to small ship and uh, it don't look too bad so that's the draft all done so for part two which will be coming up whenever we're going to focus on the main hull of the ship which will be the grey and also the beginning of the white as well so uh, the ship has a shear as well so the bow of the ship curves upwards slightly so we're going to take that into account but that will be for part two and I think we'll also try and uh, get some of the deck in place as well so I'll do the, the main hull and I'll probably start the main deck as well so uh, that will be for part two and then for part three onwards will be the superstructure and then all the details afterwards so uh, there we go, that will be for part two onwards. Part two, three, four onwards. So uh, not expecting this tutorial to go for very long, but uh, there we go. But anyway, that is it for part one of the MV Bloemfontein Castle tutorial. And then, like I say, for part two will be the hull and things like that. So anyway, that is that. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing. And I shall return in part two. So uh, bye for now.